Okay, so I want to explain something that's very important, especially in catheterization, called tenodesis and what that all involves. So there are different levels of spinal cord injury, so let me go through those really quick. So C1, 2, and 3, there's no motor to test, and 4, there's no motor to test. There's no, you know, you can't have them move their arm and test them. And so that, when I talk about that, that's a motor level. So, but C5 is the first motor level. So if there's not a motor level to test, you go with sensory, whatever that is, and you call that their, their motor level too. But it, C5 is the first place that you're able to test the motor. That's deltoid has that, but specifically bicep is where we test that. Then there's, there's C6, so if you broke down another level down, now you have what's above that, which would be 5, but then you have 6. So the important thing about tenodesis is it gives you a lot of function. So if you bring your wrist up, it brings your thumb to your finger, and that allows you to grasp items and hold it with no finger movement. So that's tenodesis. So if you're capping with the perfect cap, you can grab it with some tenodesis without hand function, without hand movement, and then grab it and insert it. Now, if it's just a catheter, for example, I can't just grab a catheter. It doesn't have that much strength. Some do, some don't, some have some spasticity, so that's very variable. But if you do that, I don't have that. And if it's a big bag around it, well, it's too bulky for me to manipulate. So what the perfect cap does is it puts this nice sheath on that gives you a little bit, helps you grab it, gives you something more to grab, but doesn't interfere with the ability to push it in. So that's tenodesis.